Hey everyone, Meteoric Turtle here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing well today. Today we are getting back into some more of the Outer Worlds. Let's go ahead and jump right back in here and see where we left off. Um, I think last time we had just gotten the Vicar. He's going to go meet us on the ship. Yep, so... Now we just need to figure out what else we have left. Okay, so let's let's talk to Conrad again and see if anything new has come of that. Oop. Get on the other side of the door. That's not right. Ah, uh, he's over here. <clears throat> I was about to say. I know he doesn't. He's not outside. Had your rations yet? Okay, let's see. There he is at the barber shop. All right, Conrad, has anything new what can I do for presented you? itself? No, nope, nothing really new there. Give me just a minute here. Okay, let's see. Okay, now he can see me. Don't want to do that. Oh. Hmm. Splash resistant. Can he see me? I don't think he can see me. Okay. What's this here? Let's see. Receptionist shot himself. This is bad. Company's going to have to call it for what it is. Destruction of Spacer's Choice property. Eugene was an asset and somebody has to pay his body price. Hmm. This is going to ruin us. I was thinking that we pawn off his teeth. Eugene had a full set of gold teeth. Heirlooms passed down his family or something. You're processing his body, right? Just dig around and pry them out. We sell the teeth somewhere nice and quiet, use the bits to pay his body price, and nobody's the wiser. What do you think? Don't write back. In fact, don't talk to me at all. Just give me a special signal next time you see me. Waggle your eyebrows. Phyllis G. Nice. Well, there you go. Well, let's talk to Conrad again. What can I do for you? Let's see. Yeah. Why not use his teeth as collateral for your grapeside fees? You know about Eugene? How? Because we're awesome. That's how. Uh, I found a note from Phyllis. Then, you know Phyllis suggested selling off Eugene's gold teeth. I didn't approve of the idea then, and I don't approve of it now. Mm -hmm. Eugene's golden teeth were a family heirloom, representing three generations of poor dental hygiene. He <laughs> took them to his grave. Hmm. I'm sure he won't miss them. That's unthinkable. Eugene's body and all rare earth minerals contained therein are solely the property of Spacer's choice. I can't ask Silas to dig up a man's body and pry a few teeth loose from his jaw just to pay my bills. Can I? Yeah. Uh, are you asking rhetorically? Because if you're being serious... Ugh, gross. Desperate measures, Miss Holcomb. Desperate measures. <laughs> I'm going to have to ask Silas to dig up those teeth. It's the only way I'm paying my gravesite fees. Are you sure about this? I'm sure that I have no other choice. There you Here go. Here you are. Gravesite papers affixed with my signature and an IOU. There we go. All done. Uh, I'm told Eugene killed Eugene himself. Eugene was happened. not a suicide. He put a bullet in his brain, yes, but that's largely a technicality. I was the one who prepared Eugene's body for interment. I discovered symptoms of the plague on his corpse. And I discovered medicine in his pocket. Lots of medicine. Mm -hmm. Eugene overdosed on Adrena time, which is known to cause psychosis and paranoia as possible side effects. The paranoia drove him to take his own life. Ah, uh, okay. So the town never had to pay. Uh, that's horrible. It's a miracle of bureaucracy. If Eugene's death were filed as a suicide, we'd all pay the price for his crime. We can all thank our lucky stars that young Eugene was hopped up on medication and suffered its predictable side effect. <laughs> I included it all in my official report. I'd like to think I saved Edgewater a great deal of money. We never could have paid the fines associated with a suicide. Wow, this world is very messed up. Okay. So now we've done that. Uh, now I think we go back to whatever that guy's name is. The Grave Digger. 
I forget his name. Silas. That's his name. Come here, Silas. I've collected all your fees for you, you hey, lazy punk. Lovely to see you above, Miss Parvati. Things going all right, Silas? Been keeping him careful and true, miss. What are you talking about? Best to ask her yourself. My dad's buried here. Silas watches over him when I get... When I can't leave the house. Hmm. I'm sorry, Pavardi. Oh. Well, thanks. Something I can do for you? Yep, I got all your stuff. You run into any trouble? All done. Reliable work from a freelancer. That's gonna take some getting used to. Hmm. I went out of my way for you on this. And I'll buy you a drink sometime. Uh huh. So looking for something a bit more tangible. Uh, suppose you've earned it. One good turn deserves another. Let's see. Big cartridges. Okay. Let's see. Abernathy was trying to hide Abernathy his own illness. Was sick with the plague. That's disgusting. I shook hands with the guy. Hmm, he was convinced you knew. What? No. If I knew he was sick, I would have had him reported. I needed his fees because of his name. A for Abernathy. He was at the top of my list, you see? <laughs> so impersonal. Let me ask you about something else. Yeah. Uh, I heard any news about the, the colony hope. ship? Are you talking about that old rumor? Some great big starship packed full of colonists what got lost in the Aether never to be found again. <laughs> Ain't heard that one since I was but a stripling. Can't say it was terribly convincing far as rumors go. Is there a reason you asking? Because it's true. Let's see. The hope isn't a rumor. It's real. I'm living proof. All right. Easy now. No need to get your hackles up. Maybe you've been out in the sun too long. Why don't you head over to the cantina? Get yourself some zero G brew. It's a brew that's good for what ails you. Oh Lord. I don't understand. They said the colony was expecting us. Look, I don't know what's got you caterwauling about hope this and colony that, but you need to stop. Or there's gonna be trouble. Why? Well, yeah, where's the trouble in asking a question? Trouble's in the asking. Or don't much care for folk running their mouths, spreading hoaxes and the like. Frankly, neither do I. Okay. Something I can do for you? Yeah. Let's see if I have any more questions I can ask. Nope. Fine. Be that way, Silas. All right. So let's see. Ooh, I do have some skill points. Let's do some more ranged. How many do I have? Let's get that up to 40. And then... Do some tech. A couple of tech. One in dialogue, one in stealth, and then let's do a little bit more melee. Okay. Looks good to me. No perks. Okie dokie. So what quests are we going to do next? Uh, let's see. So deliver a message to a woman named Adelaide David. Let's do this. So, look at my map. The enemy seeks to destroy our way of life. Okay. <laughs> well, that's interesting. Alright, so that's the power plant. Where's Adelaide? Adelaide, Adelaide, Adelaide. Okay, so far as I can tell, we haven't found the botanical labs yet. But there's a couple locations. Let's try and go over here and see. Well, let's go. Because this one has a road. Why does it keep starting me there? That's the river. Can I go wrong behind? Looks like there's a road behind here, so let me try going over here. Because I want to try and find this Adelaide McDermott person first. 
Yeah, and there's something back here. Uh oh! What's back here? Oh, come on, bring it. Bring it! Bring it! Terror Ray. There we go. Alright. What is this? Abandoned Spacer's Choice Settlement. Okay. Probably lots to kill in here. What's in here? Marauder. Okay. Come out and play. Yeah, I kind of got spotted, huh? Here they come. Get some of that, son. Take some of that, boy. Ha <laughs> ha! There you go. Get, get it, get it, get it. What did you have? Nothing. You didn't drop anything. Come on. J what? Okay. Holding down the trigger. Not firing at all. Okay. Okay, this time I'm going to switch to the weapon that does the job. Which is a shame, really, because the... I do like that other weapon. But the range is not fantastic, so... There's one. Oh, nice. Get some of that! Excuse me. I will take cover. Before I die. Well, that guy saw me immediately. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. Why, oh, why did I poke my head out before? You got to re finish reloading before you stick your head out. A lesson to all. I like the combat, though. The combat is definitely challenging. Probably would be better if I was playing it smarter. So I'm going to try and slow it down a bit. these guys got. I think that's everything here. Right this second anyway. Ooh, good. Some heavy ammo. Okay, so yeah, that I definitely like that gun. <laughs> that gun worked a lot better in that situation. Hunting rifle. That was not a hunting rifle you were shooting me with. But okay. Alright. Oh, oh. Okay, what do we got? Any machine discovered? Oh, cool. Where is the vending machine? That's sealed. Oh, here it is. Vending machine, what do you got? Got some Adreno. Let's buy five more. Let's go ahead and pick up some heavy ammo. Buy all of that. And then energy cells. What's this here? Nicotine patch. Okay. Do you get addicted to nicotine in this game? Apparently. Wow. We'll go ahead and buy up all the ammo. So there's the revolver. Twenty-two versus forty-one. 
That's right, I have to remember to go in here and then unequip that, and then equip that. Okay. Let's see, what is this? Bypass shunt. Is there anything else here that's important? I don't think so. I think this is just kind of a a loot stop, really. Yeah, you can't get into any of the buildings. There's a vending machine. Oh, we can get into this building. Nice. Pre-sliced bread. Nothing in the fridge, of course, because why would there be? There's a bed here, though. Uh, let's sleep for... Yeah, we'll do eight hours. Why not? Okay. Nothing there. A spacer's chow. Okay. Armor parts. Nice. There we go. Now we're talking. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. Whoops. I got stuck on that. I don't think I can jump up there. I don't think there's anything to get up there, even if I did jump, so. Alright, well, that's that. Let's see. Can't fast travel there now anyway though. That's too bad. All right, let's cut straight across. Cause that's the geopower thermal plan. Let's go over here and see if we can find Adelaide. Okay, so we're right on top of this. What is this? Jump. Yummy, yummy. Huh. What is going on here? I don't think we've been here before. All these guys are dead though. That's interesting. Nothing in the fridge. Some energy cells there. Okay. Oh, need to break some things down. Uh, okay, so there's a revolver. Let me go ahead and break this down real quick. I don't need two of the bolter pistols. I don't want the sawed off shotgun. Okay. So let's come and try. Let's try the revolver. See how that does. See how I like it. Oh, darn. Kind of loading time. Okay, not a terrible loading time. And I think it takes light ammo. Right? Light ammo? Yes. Wait, I'm looking at the wrong thing anyway. Light ammo, yeah. Ooh, it has a knockback though, that's nice. They've been evicted. Nope, can't get in there either. Okay. So from here, we need, oh, let's go up to this road and then take a left. What's this say? It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. Perfect. Ah, okay, here we are. Botanical lab. Move along, stranger. That's where we needed to be. You don't want any trouble. Hello, Grace. I don't know you. Whatever you're looking for, it ain't here. Move along. Great. I'm looking for Adelaide. I need answers, some answers. Huh? You must be one of those philosophicals. Already got ourselves one of those. Reed said something about former workers living out in the wilderness. Yeah, that's us. 
And you can tell Thompson we're doing just fine by ourselves. If you're gonna start wandering around my camp, know that I got my sights on you. Okay, where can I find Adelaide? Over in the hothouse, tending crop. Thanks. Enough with the questions. No offense, but I've got a lot on my mind. <laughs> uh, let's see. You and me both. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to repair my well, ship. Look at you, buzzing around the Aether with your very own ship. Rest of us got to make do with the ground at our feet. Okay, no, sore sorry. subject. That was unworthy of me. Lady named Zoe went missing some nights ago. Just up and vanished without a trace. Now I'm pacing around wondering if Marauders got to her. Probably yes. Um, let's see. I'll keep an eye it's out. It's not like Zoe to go wandering. Figured she might be out scavenging, but that ain't exactly her talent. Mm -hmm. Can't imagine where she's gone. Vale's a wide place. She could be anywhere. Okay. Unless Marauders got to her, then parts of her could be in a lot of play. Don't worry about it, I'll find Appreciate her. Appreciate it. Honest. Yeah, I don't want to be mean. Okay, I got questions I'll about tell Zoe. You what I can. And they were where she might be hiding. Vex me. If she told anybody, they ain't telling me. I'd check her room, but I got yelled at for snooping once already. So somebody's trying to cover something up. You snooped her in a Little room. ways ago. She was always obsessing over her serial dramas. Wanted to see what the fuss was about. Hmm. How well do you know well, her? Well, enough to know we never got on. Zoe and Stefan were close. If anybody knows the workings of her mind, he does. Okay, well, ask Stefan then. You seem so personable. Can't imagine why, how you didn't get on with her. She was lazy and thoughtless. But she's still one of our own. Hmm. Maybe the Marauders Could took her away? Dangers are plenty out there. No telling why Marauders would steal somebody like Zoe. Got no useful skills, as far as I can tell. <laughs> uh, any chance you could point me somewhere specific and not just out there? Marauder gang just moved into the districts a little ways east. Their numbers are growing. Gotta come from somewhere. Well, I killed all the ones west, so... What is it? I guess we gotta kill more east. I'll leave you to it. Alright, let's see if we can find Adelaide here. You hungry? We got canid hey, ribs. Look, I just happened canid across Stefan. Canid snout too. Something I can help you with? Yeah. Uh, told one of your numbers gone missing. You mean Zoe? Yeah, we were pretty close. Not like her to go loping off. Hmm. What happened on the day Zoe disappeared? Zoe and I were gonna watch the serials, as is our custom. She never turned up. I looked around, but she was nowhere to be found. You sound like some type of corporate fixer asking all these questions. You don't really sound all that concerned about her. Zoe was always obsessed with this serial. Masked Marketeer. A scion of Byzantium turns to banditry and teaches his marauder companions the wisdom of free market economics. <laughs> Shame she up and vanished when she did. I had a surprise lined up for her. Mm-hmm. What was that about surprising Zoe? The other day I got my hands on a genuine copy of the latest Masked Marketeer. I was going to surprise Zoe with it, but she was gone the next day. Was she acting strange before? Can't say I recall Zoe ever acting strange. Well, except for her habit of writing things down on scraps of paper. She there called we go. it journaling, but I think it's just plain odd. Hold on, there was something hey, else. I got time. Let's see, what are you selling? Fresh off the limb, and that includes canid meat. Merchant skill. Your best dialogue skill and is used to negotiate prices when buying and selling from vendors. Okay. Ooh, fiber. Nice. How much is that supposed to be? Way insufficient bits. That doesn't surprise me. Uh, so we got gyro sides, heavy ammo. And leaper injections. What's a leaper injection? Armor mod increases the distance you travel when dodging. Oh, okay. Cannot purchase ammo because it's restricted? Okay. Hmm. 
Nice. Sure. Buy some of these mods. Um, what's going on in here? Nothing there. Oh, there's some stuff here. Hmm. What? I didn't do anything. Hmm. That's weird. I thought something uh, went missing there. I didn't see anything. Did you guys see anything? I saw nothing. You scared the crap out of me before I <laughs> turned around and saw her standing there. I was like, uh oh. <laughs> I forgot all about you. You never say anything. So. Alright, what's in here? This is probably where she's tending. So I don't want to steal anything in the wide open. Is this Adelaide? Yeah, here you are. If you're hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. If you're bearing illness, find a place to lay your head down and I'll fetch you a poultice. Whatever your troubles with Edgewater, leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. Any questions, dear? How about you uh, figure out what I need before you just start welcoming? You must be Adelaide. I have been called that, among other things. Green Thumb, Grandmother, the strange old lady who keeps flowers. But yes, Adelaide will do just fine. Excuse me, Miss McDevitt? Sorry, it's just... You got such pretty trees in here. Why, thank you. You're Robert's girl, aren't you? I remember when you were but a sprout. Thomas speaks of you often. Are you staying long? You should try some of my tobacco tea. I brew it in an old spittoon, but it's been cleaned. Hmm. Let's see. Reed sent me to make peace with you. Reed Thompson? You here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile? Well, maybe you should have asked Let's first. What's Reed's idea of peace, then? Let's see. So you're living off power that belongs to the town. Come back to the cannery. That's about it. Like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is canned. I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. Reed asked me to divert your power over to him. He mentioned a geothermal plant. He would do such a thing. The question is, why would you agree to his plans? Because he's paying me. You can't pass power regulator. I need to repair my ship. The cannery's got a regulator. You want ship parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. If you're going down to the plant, you should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. Think about it. You'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. Seems the sort of thing a hero would do. Hmm. Let's see, what have you got against the You've town? Seen that miserable excuse for a town with your own lamps. Hollowed out workers laboring their lives away at the cannery, living off whatever scrap spacer's choice throws them. You know that's true, don't you, Ms. Holcomb? Your father died of overwork. His heart gave out. He, he was tired all the time, sure, but he was old, ma'am, and he raised me all by his lonesome. Look what they did to this child. Lost her family to the company, and still she defends them. Hmm. Let's see. Don't much like you throwing that in her face to get me on your side. I'm all right. I ain't so fragile. That was unkind of me. I'm sorry, dear. Mm -hmm. Watch yourself. So you made your point clear enough. I'll see what I can do. I trust you will listen to your conscience. I hate Spacer's Choice already, so I will probably divert to the town here. <laughs> Even though she was being a meanie. I don't like you. I don't like you for that. But, I mean, my moral obligations, obligations are clear here. Spacer's Choice, big evil corporation. Gotta take him down a peg or two. Alright. Oh, that looked like a weapon mod. What? 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 Nobody saw anything? Nobody saw nothing? Nobody saw nothing. Alright, let's see here. 
Let me tear down. I have another assault rifle here. That one has 100%. That's at 88. Let me equip that one because this one's. Yeah, it's the same thing. I don't have any mods on it, so I can break down that one. Okay. Is there anything else worth stealing in here? Let me check the rest of this storeroom real quick. Hmm, Mac pick. Yep, that's worth taking. Adreno, absolutely. Perfect. Nothing. Nothing going on back here. I'm a dirty thief. <laughs> Alright. What's this? Yeah, let's go. Alright, moving on. So I guess now we'll... On next episode, we'll go ahead and run over to the geothermal power plant. And see about... Moving the power over to this end of the, the veil, as she said. Until next time, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.